Okay. Hi, Jim. Um, can you tell me what's one of the barriers that you've faced um, while you've been here at Hartford Family House that's contributed to um, your housing problems? The biggest problem I've run into is that most of the jobs around here don't pay a living wage. Um, before all this happened with me, I worked for an oil company, made a great salary, had no problems making ends meet. <clears throat> Unfortunately, when my son got sick, I had to take whatever job I could after I lost that job. And the jobs were $10, $12 an hour jobs that after you pay for daycare, there's not much left over. There was one job I was working where I was making $12 an hour, and after I paid for my daycare, I was lucky if I had $100 a week left over. And that's not going to pay the rent, the gas, get back and forth to work. And in Hartford County, most of the apartments and the housing, you're looking at $1,000 and up for a one or two bedroom apartment. That's not including your utilities, you know, your daycare, your food, because the problem is then is once you start making that kind of money where you could be possibly paying that, any kind of social services you may be getting are cut off. Um, then you're left with nothing and you're basically back in the same situation. I was fortunate enough where I had the skills where I could get a job that pays well enough to do that, to pay the bills that I need to pay. And if it wasn't for Hartford Family House giving me that flexibility to find that, I'd be in the same boat everybody else is in. You know, I just got a great job with an oil company. I had to look out of state for it because there was nothing in the local area that would even do it. I had to go to Delaware to get a job. And fortunately, it puts me back where I was before, but a lot of people don't have access to that kind of job. So a minimum wage job or a $10 an hour job or an $11 an hour job is not sufficient to pay the bills that pop up on a daily basis or a monthly recurring basis between apartment rents and all the things that go with it. You know, because then you're still talking car insurance or car payments because you need a car to get back and forth to work because the transportation system in Hartford County isn't that great. And fortunately, I have a program here for like called Wheels for Work that will help people. But people that don't have access to that are suffering even more. Okay. Well, thank you so much, Jim, for that um, information.